I'm sure you were sobered as I was last night to see what unfolded at that rally. I don't care what side of the aisle that you vote on, that was not appropriate. And this song is a great lead in for us to pray for our country, to pray for the United States of America. We're a country that is in need of a move of God. We need to see God move in this church, in our community, and throughout this land. We're a country that needs healing. We need the healing that only God can bring. And so let's pray. We're a praying church. There are people here at 6.30 praying before anybody else got here. There are people that were in our prayer room yesterday morning at 5 a.m. to pray. We meet every Wednesday night at something that's called the river. We invite God's presence. We're a praying church. If you're able, will you join me in kneeling as we pray and seek God together for our country? Heavenly Father, we come today in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We bow before you, maker of heaven and earth. You hold all things together. In you we live and have our being. We bow before you, creator God, the one who is faithful, the one who in a moment can change the course of our lives. You are the same God, the God that parted the Jordan River, the God who perform miracles. You're the same God today. And so we bow before you in humility today. And we pray for our country. We pray for our country. We need a miracle. This country is in disarray. It's sad to see the atrocities. And here As we're months away from this election, it seems things will only get worse. And so we bow before you today and we say, Father, have mercy upon this nation. Have mercy. We pray that you will pour out your spirit. Pour out your spirit upon all flesh. That we would experience a genuine move of God in this nation. We pray that hearts would turn to the Savior, Jesus Christ. We pray that people will find you before it's too late. Father, I pray that scripture that says, if my people who are called by my name will humble themselves and pray and seek your face and turn from their wicked ways, then then we will hear from heaven. Then you will heal our land. Lord, that's what we're asking for. We pray for a healing, a healing that that those who are doing evil would be exposed. We pray that the light of Jesus Christ would shine in the darkness to push back the darkness and that your kingdom would come. Your kingdom is bigger than our government. Your ways are higher than our ways. Your thoughts are higher than our thoughts. And so we bow before you today, almighty God, and we pray, have your way in this nation. Have your way. We turn to you, the only one, the only one who can change a person's heart. We bow before you today, the King of kings and the Lord of lords. We say, have your way. We welcome you in this place. Jesus, move through our communities. Move through our communities, we pray. Father, we thank you for this church, this opportunity to open our doors and to come and worship. And we don't need to worry. We can worship freely. So many people around the world can't do that. We don't take it for granted. And so we pray, move in our hearts today. Move in our hearts, Lord. Have your way in this place. 
Manifest your presence here today. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen.